Market. Five bosses with knight in their name. Crucible knight. That's that's uh Wet Blades. Crucible Knight. There's the... Dude, wait, how many... Are they even five bosses with Knight in their name? It's honestly a very similar board. Five bosses with the word knight in their name. Oh, knight. Wait, but knight's cavalry is not. Like, knight's cavalry is like literally the word knight, not K N I G H T. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a horrible middle square. Oh, who made that, dude? That's not great. Oh, okay. I assume, like, Knight's Cavalry is, like, doesn't have a K. So. There's also Bell, like, Bloodhound Fang plus zero. Red Wolf. Yeah, I can try to Google it, but it's that's not sort of so easy, I guess. Have you they serve it you? I can play turning root to aid you. You need only Is balls a knight? Then it's summon me. Ah, I bequeath. Maybe maybe balls. I'll give you the best nut. Carry a knight balls or something? I don't know. This is going too far. <laughs> Google it well. Loretta's a knight, right? Like Royal Knight Loretta. I I'm gonna need some clarification though. If, if there's like a, a ref somewhere, like Knights Cavalry's doesn't count, right? If a ref hears me. Preferably not when I'm fighting a boss as well. Yeah. 
it tight. The guard you breached. Fairy. Unfortunately, guys, I don't think the axe makes sense here. I think going for Nefeli is probably better. Or you know what? Maybe it's not though. To see when it seems torrent. There's a lot of options. I can take gathering. Very well. Let my hand. There's a lot of options here. Somber plus nine is also on the table. Hey Gino, just so there's no ambiguity, um, okay. the two spellings of night are different. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Have... Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Dude, how many mods have fucking knight in their name? I'm gonna leave Godric, I, I think. Cause he might be, he might at this point be like, he might just wait for me to pick which one. I'm gonna wait for him to pick which one. Cause we know we're Dan Sorcery only is horrible. So, I, I don't know. That's crazy, dude. I've done literally all boss and no hit, and I, I can't think of five <laughs> bosses with knight in their name. I, I can think of like two. Because even like Soldier, Soldier of Godric's not a knight. Yes, I'm taking the Bloodhound plus zero square as well. I wouldn't mind just waiting him for him to do it so that I, like, I. That might be my weapon of choice on this run. I think it's Royal Knight Loretta, but that might just be the Halle... Knight Loretta. I think that's right. I think that's a boss that exists. This is a weird board, you guys. There's not a lot of synergy, it feels like. I'm heading to Academy, though, because I think I want to try to get those squares. Is Ball... Is a Dan? A Dan Thief of Fire. Clean Rot Knight. Okay. Okay, that's one. Clean Rot Knight. One. So I can think of three, then? Three? And then there's a Clean Rot Knight duo. Does that count as two? Might need more clarification. If the Clean Rot Knight duo counts as two bosses, uh, or uh, it's probably only one, I guess. Um, so there's that. So there's two Clean Rot Knights. I, I think that's sort of like a, a later game um, square to grab. Like you could rush it, but I don't really think it helps you that much. So two Clean Rot Knights, including the duo. And then... Probably forgetting somebody obvious, but I can't think of what it is. There's just one more, I think. Two, and then we got... Where are the other ones I thought of? So, two clean rots. We have Knight Loretta. We have... Balls a knight? I, I don't know, dude. I don't actually know what Balls' is, like, full name is. Anyways, I gotta think of my strategy on this board, though, because it's kind of a weird one. I think he's going for Loretta as well. Or he's going for Red Wolf. I might honestly want to, like, skip a Grace here to, to snipe it from him if he's going for it, but... I don't know. There's just... There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that's behind Red Wolf. The Wet Blades... Now, I have actually tested Godric's, uh, Godric's axe. Um, and it's okay. It's not great. But it's, it's probably usable for less than you'd expect. I have to hope that I beat him to Margit. Like, hopefully he went for Margit. Because if he's... 
I don't know. It'll be interesting if he gets it. It's the Red Wolf here, like, right away. Because he would have skipped Godric or Margit if he just gets Red Wolf, like, right around now. I, I feel like these games that we've had so far have not set up well for me. Like, this is not a game that really sets up super well for me. Probably. I can probably afford to skip this grace, I guess. There was I thought I counted four, but I can't remember what that last one is. The fourth one. Oh, I almost missed that. make this cycle. God damn it. So he hasn't gotten it yet, which leads me to believe that he m probably didn't go for it immediately, I guess. Because there's just no way that he wouldn't have killed the boss by now. If he went for it straight away. Dude.
have a feeling that I, I might have beaten him to both of those. I just, I, I, I have a feeling. And he might go for like Bloodhound Fang just as like a, I don't know, try to get on the board. You know what, there's a staff here. There's a staff. I know he likes that one. I, I and it is a corner. That's honestly not even a bad place to go right now. So, like, I, dude, I can get that very quickly. All of a sudden. Okay, so let's turn in. We're going to turn in the academy key, and then we're going to get a staff. Also puts us on the way to plus seven sacred flask. I'm afraid. All oh, right. I can tell you. You've seen that. That's the only it's not. After they declare the academy, as you might have making entry and so on. When they come, why not? Without one. And you'll never. Eat. And if you once you've, would you can? I know it. But still, are you? So you're willing to my own. Thank you. Now I can resume. <laughs> There's no getting through to you, is there? Come on. Enemy staff. So that's our second. This will be our third. You're surprised no matter. Why don't oh, but don't Third, fourth, fifth, and then sixth is, or wait. Okay, you already got the wet blades. That's a little scary, actually. Or is it? That basically confirms that I beat him to both of those, which is very good. Okay, we're gonna get the two here, and then we're, we're, we need one more past that, which should be... I don't know. But the, the Falling Star Beast is also in here. I'm gonna do a little sneaky early Falling Star Beast, I think. Although, I don't know. We'll see. At least this gives us the cave for Falling Star Beast, which I, I can just do whenever. We know he's already made it to a few things. Let's grab that. Go ahead and rest as well. And I think both of us are probably just going to wait on that, like, Nefeli and Hitless Sorcery Square. Just to see what the other person does. Let's go get the staff here, and then... I, I don't think I, I don't have a setup to kill the duo here. So I'm just not going to do that. The corner squares are very good. And, and it also puts us two in the direction of a couple bingos. 
That's why this is important. For fuck's sakes, man. Oh, why did I do that? When I could just jump down. This also sets a, a, us up pretty well for the Remembrance Sorcery kill. It just, I ba I'm basically forfeiting that Nefeli Lu square if I do that. So I, I might just hold off and just see which one he does. Because, like, unless I, unless I do an insane play of trying to kill another boss sorcery only, like Redan, but we saw how that went last time. It was really bad. But there's also, like, a Remembrance weapon only kill so i don't know we just need to go get our last staff and then when do we want to get set up I, I have a feeling he could even be going for this right now, so hopefully I, I have the I have the uh, the advantage. I think I do because I got the uh, I got the Azure's Blintstone staff, and so he like maybe I don't know. He's probably gonna go for like the demi human one, and then the two that I just got. So I don't know. And he also got wet blades after I started doing this, so I should have the advantage on it. Just need about 20 to 30 seconds here to go grab this. I don't know why. I feel like he could easily be going for this. He got this very early against me last time. And also makes a ton of sense to grab because it's like a corner square. Corner squares are very good. There's six. And man, I really hope that was what he was going for. Go kill the pumpkin head for Selen. <laughs> oh, seriously? Oh my god, I'm just trying to die here, I guess. Oh, so bad, dude's insane. I think I'm gonna go sell the Bloodhound Fang. That's my next uh, play, probably. While I do that, I'm gonna head to Round Table and also. I think I've already been around Table, right? Just trying to pump up the early squares. Oh, he. Okay, okay, he. Okay, that's good. So he basically just gave me. Well, actually, I don't know if it's good. He essentially just gave me the sorcery kill, but now he's got the Remembrance weapon. Square. And we know he's in... Okay, I mean, maybe that's not so good. Okay, and then all of a sudden, I gotta be very careful of that bingo.
Okay, I gotta be careful, you guys. Bleed, maybe? Bleed. Bleed. I think I gotta get to Altus. I gotta try to get that bell bearing square. How do I do it though? Because he might be just trying to get a bingo this time. I'm not gonna sell the Bloodhound Fang yet. If he wants to waste his time doing that, then I'll let him. But he's got he's got huge priority on Misbegotten and Crucible Duo. Maybe I oh man, maybe I should have prioritized the uh Okay, uh, let's go into Stormvale. We're gonna go get our weapons set up. Um, and then I'm not gonna kill Godric yet. Seriously? We gotta get to all this on this game. I think, because if I can beat him, if I can beat him to that bell bearing square, then all of a sudden I prevent his bingo, and then, I, I don't know, I guess it's not that powerful, but I know he's got priority on Misbegotten Crucible, so, and he killed Godric, so he's, he's going to get his set up here. I don't know, let's see what happens. Again, I'm, I'm ahead on squares, but I, I'm concerned about his bingo here. Is that that's one that you could get pretty quickly? What did I just punch? Okay, come on. We also have the Bloodhound plus zero square available at any time, but I just, I don't, there's no rush on it. Be proud. You are a fine warrior. I see. You are but a simple villain. Let the stars remind you. This is... On a felly. Please. Become Elden Lord. Okay, uh, let's go. Go to EG. Get ourselves a plus four. And now I gotta think, do we go through Abductor Duo? As our way to Altus. Do I go through Abductor Duo? It's got to be the fastest way I have, so we have to. I mean, he might be trying to do the same thing. If if he does, then I have to go for the Assassins, I guess. Um, I have to. If if he beats me to this square, because he's he's gonna he has priority on like I said he's got priority on the cru uh, Crucible Knight Misbegotten. I would want some HP before I go in there, though. Like, the only thing. Which, hopefully, I can get some.
Okay, uh, let's go to schoolroom. And I've got that sorcery square, and I've, I've also got that bloodhound square. Available whenever I would like it. I mean, he, he might go to clean that up really quick, though. Like, maybe I should have already done it, but... Yeah, Altus is good on this. Altus is very important. Alt Altus is good on most games, but on this one, it's also very good. Yeah, I, I, I could have gone to round table and just spent, like, literally 20 seconds to sell the Bloodhound Fang. Oh, well, I guess I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> God fucking damn it, dude. That's so stupid. I just did that. I was trying to take a bit of damage, but I just dropped a bit too early. Okay, another mistake. It's okay. We made a bunch of mistakes last time as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a diversion here, I guess. I'm gonna go to round table and sell it. Another mistake. Okay, uh, you, you can get away with some mistakes for sure, so. Definitely not the end of the world. Oh god, why did I come here? For god's sakes. I should have also gotten quick step, I guess. While I was right there, but I don't have any runes. You're no mad lad. It's okay. I don't know why it specifies plus zero. I guess so that you can't like use it for stuff. I think the play I just made, like, obviously I died and just probably lost, like, 40 seconds, but, or more, maybe a minute and a half, but the play that I've made here, it, it might kind of, he's probably thinking that I just spent all of that time, uh, like, killing a bloodhound and stuff. So, it might kind of put him off the, the trail a little bit. But I, I think he's going for this right now, you guys. I really got to beat him to this. If not, I have to go for assassins. I just, I can't let him just walk a bingo like that. Hey, Gino, I just yep. was asking Domo to confirm to you that we are counting the first match as a win for you. Because we okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank nightmare. you. Thank you. Yeah, we don't even do, we don't even do the noble here. We just go straight for... We just go straight to Altus and try to kill the abductors. I'm going to get the grace this time. Honestly, I have no idea how that, that cancel works still. Not unequipped. I think he's going Altus right now. There's also a Falling Star Beast up in Altus, but I'd rather just take the Caleb one who's weaker. Okay, here we go. Last time I did have a plus seven here, so I'll have a little bit less damage, but I've got the heals.
better. I gotta hit one of these graces. I don't know which one. Okay, I think I'd like to see that. I think that's good for me. Hopefully. Uh, but Tree Sentinel Duo. Like, I should have priority on, like, everything in alt this year. I, I have to assume, again, that that's Makar. Uh... If it's Makar, he's going up to Altus right now. Which means I'm ahead of him. So I think that's good. As long as he didn't already go get the other bell bearing, but I that, that literally makes no sense why you would ever do that. Like you would you wouldn't go get the other bell bearing first because then you're just like wasting your time. Right? It's better to leave it all until the same moment so that you don't end up wasting your time. Because I, I guess what could happen if, if you, like, let's say he did go and get it, and then I get the square anyways, then he just totally wasted that time. Whereas if he waited and saw that I already got the square before he committed to going to get that one, then, uh, then, like, you didn't waste that time. And we could also kill Tree Sentinel Duo. Yeah, if I can get this, and then... Oh no. Gotta think of those bosses with knight in the name, because that would be a huge square to get. Of course, we need to get this grace. And I have to rest at it so I can fast travel. I'm still trapped. So it's five to three. You know, I guess there's a somber plus nine square, dude. Maybe I should have at least gotten the five and six that's in Volcano, but. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. This is going too far. I, I guess I can go back there. Or, you know, what? it's probably better I get the five and six that's in Altus here. I can remember where that six is. Remember where the five is, I think. I literally picked it up the other day. I remember it's under the dragon wing somewhere. No, I think I remember. I remember, actually. And then seven would be in the sewer, and then... Eat nine Kalid, of course. Okay, so we gotta go kill the Crystallian. Gotta start thinking about my own bingo at some point. Which I have two rows that I have two going, so. But maybe I just start, like, cleaning up some squares at that point. Or maybe I go for Tree Sentinel Duo so that... Oh my god, where am I going here? That was stupid. Went the wrong way. I could go for Tree Sentinel Duo to, like, block that middle, bro.
I wonder if that's actually faster than the elevator. Like, he, he probably has priority on the middle square because he, you know, Crucible Knight and Miss Begotten Duo, I would assume, counts as one. And so he could he could do that and just start cleaning stuff up. I don't know why he's not. But hopefully I can make the middle score irrelevant by getting, like, True Sentinel Duo or something. I have to imagine. So if he did indeed kill Makar, he's going to be going for, for this exact square, I think. So, it, like, if he snipes me, this could be really bad. I still wouldn't mind more HP for the Tree Sentinel duo if I do go there. I think that's the probably the most logical place to go next. It's annoying. I really got to time these elevators versus jumping down like this. Probably pretty close to the same. Okay. Put him in the blender. the wrong race. I've got so much pressure on that middle square, though. I wonder if I should try to do it. Because that could be gigantic if I could get that. Um. Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best. Okay, hold on a second. Ever. Somber this bell bearing. Too far. Somber bell bearing makes a whole lot of sense. I, I see now. Because that combines with the falling star beast. I gotta hope he didn't see that. Okay, a bit of a pivot, but this is the right choice, I think. Might have to quit out here. I don't get this first try. I want to deal with that attack, really. Like, I can just start spamming you. Come on, cave. Why does this cave take so long to load in? Now, this isn't like an amazing Falling Star Beast weapon, but it's serviceable. Like, once you get a stun, it, it, like, destroys him. Dude, I almost thought my game was gonna crash there.
Nice synergy here. And if I can if I can get this, then I'm also blocking his his like his only progress to a bingo right now. Although it's not much progress, it's literally one square, but he's also saving the remembrance boss kill with a, a remembrance weapon just the same as I'm saving the sorcery one. Um okay. I wouldn't mind going to get some sleep pots as well at some point. So I can do the apostle here and then if I can get that apostle done, just like another free square. But I think the Somberstone bell bearing one is is higher priority uh, because it's his bingo. It's almost unfortunate that there's no worm face here because this would have been some like insane synergy, but. But yeah, if I, if I, dude, if I could get the middle square, I, I don't know if I've killed any night boss so far. Any boss that has night in its name. I can't think of any, but. If I could get that, man, that is serious pressure because that's, that's two, two bosses that progress towards, um, or, or, or that's, that's a score that progresses Progress towards three different bingos, right? The both diagonal bing bingos and the middle column. So that could be pretty big. I maybe should have gotten more HP for this boss, but... Just got to get that stagger. He's aggro. Wonder. Dagger. Well, you guys are too kind to me. Go snag some sleep pots. Wait, didn't I? It's hard to say which grace would have been faster to this, but. So he has literally zero threats at the moment. That I can see. The duelists don't have a knight in their name? I'm just trying to think, dude. Patches doesn't have a knight, does he? I feel like there's... Uh, I guess... I don't know, dude. I'm going to get this grace just in case. It's a pretty central grace here. I, I don't know what he's doing. It's very hard to say what he's doing. Because I, I might have sniped him on that bell bearing one. Because I, I, if that's not Makar, dude, again, I just I don't know what he's doing, to be honest. But see, this is why I was saying this game looks very similar to the previous board, I guess, right? Kind of similar, where it's like the sorcery kill. Uh, I don't know. Except this time we actually hit Altus very early, and that's going to be gigantic. Because we have like Ash of War, Lightning Ram that I could get. We can go kill Redan, although he should have priority on that on, on, on that, but Yeah, we'll see. There's also plus nine weapon. Um, which he might be going for so that he can he might be going for the same strategy, dude. I don't know. Got the sleep pots, right? I think so. 
Grab this one. Let's go here. Yeah, tree sentinel duos on the table. I, I, the reason I haven't done that is just simply because it doesn't really progress me to a bingo. I want to pick squares that progress me to bingos right now. That's what I'm looking to do. So that I can put some pressure on him. And and this one does. And it also blocks the last column. And I think that's his last possible bingo. So. And I can also that you're not then wine. I am caught. Okay. Uh, let's level up a tiny bit of vigor. Um, I don't think I can actually craft any of these yet. Oh, this is a mistake. I'm going to go get the the lilies that are in this area. It also gives us a really good physic flask and the talisman, so I think it's worth it. It'll increase our damage by a lot, so that's why I'm going here. I'm wondering if, like, the no chat thing is an advantage for me. I think it is, dude. I think probably against most players, no chat is maybe an advantage. Maybe, although maybe, like, the very experienced players, it's, it's probably better for them, I guess, for, for bingo. But I think no chat has been great for me. Because I haven't really done anything that I wouldn't normally have done with chat's help. And it's also, like, I, I'm not second-guessing stuff, I guess, while trying to read... I just realized that Ancestor Spirit Square is not like the Remembrance Ancestor Spirit. I've never actually noticed that before. So we could just go underground and grab that. Okay. Let's go back up to Altus. Hopefully not a mistake that I didn't get the grace here. There's Fia's Champions on the board. Get the stamina. Get the flasks. 6-2. There's also two assassins all of a sudden, which, like, I can easily get, right? Because there's the assassin in Altus. But, like, all of a sudden, I can very quickly get that square. Like, so he must be in Altus as well at this point. Like, he's... I think he was probably behind me getting Altus. But... I don't know. Altus is pretty huge here. Also, next to Lightning Ram, there's a Sacred Flask uh, tier or whatever. So if I want to go for that. Like, everything kind of revolves around that middle square, which I, I would love to go get, to be honest. That'd be a gigantic pickup. But, I don't know. Like, I guess the thing is, if he gets it, he kind of nullifies three of my bingo threats, which is fine, because I, I would rather just go for majority at this point. Because I'm, I'm not confident on those knight bosses. I don't know which ones they are. Like, I know there's a Crucible Knight, and then... So there's two of those, right? Okay, let's do Apostle. This should easily kill him very quickly. We got the Physic. With charge attacks. I'm going to sneak around so I get the guaranteed sleep. enough juice for one more sleep pot without drinking. I think it's time to cash in the Sorcery Remembrance kill. I think it's time to cash it in. Tan, I am where you hit. Ah, 
I don't think I actually got the tome yet, though. Or you know what? No, it's not. Let's go do uh, the duo, I guess. Okay, he did the assassins. Do I go for the knights, man? It's so tough. I don't know. Really tough to say. What the hell? Got a buff. He's not really giving me any good attacks. Here we go. Thank Maybe, maybe. You're not stunned yet. Best not ever. This is going too far. Nice. Dagger. So risky. That was so risky, dude. Could have been cool if it worked out, though. Yeah, there's no reason for me to go to a sorcery yet because, like, I I know we can't get it. We shouldn't be able to get it. Unless he's going for a sorcery redem, which I, I highly doubt he's going to try to do that. Go here, rebuff. Abysmal RNG. There we go. Finally, a good attack. I don't know. I, I guess I'm going to try the night bosses, dude. I'm gonna try it. Because if I get this, I mean, I, I just don't see what he can do. Commander O'Neill. I don't actually remember how good this weapon is here. So we haven't killed any yet, I don't think. Can we just go for a stun strategy, actually? Yeah, we, we do enough damage. I Just stagger. Stagger. Okay. So this poise probably just reset. So that's the first one. Come on. So that's one, I think. If I can get this, it's it's pretty much game, I think, dude. I just I don't see what he could possibly do. But he has priority on Crucible Knight, which should count as one. So So I think this guy is a knight. Clean Rot Knight. So that's going to be two. We're going to hit the, the Clean Rot Knight duo. Uh, so that's going to be three. Loretta, I think, is another one. Like, this is a huge time investment. So if I don't get this, man. Knight. 
I'm just trying to like think of the names, dude. Also, the multi at talisman helps us a lot, or it's gonna help our damage a bit. So, I don't mind that. I think I've identified all the bosses with Knight in their name. I really can't think of another one or any others. Like, there's Knight, Vike, Knight of the Round Table, but obviously I'm not going to kill Vike, so. So, wait, after Loretta, who's the last one? Shit, dude. Who's the last one? So, wait. Loretta. Two clean rots. Crucible. What is that? So that's two. Hey, Loretta. Like, I guess there's the Crucible Knight duo, but I don't really want to go in there. I wonder if he might be going for this as we speak. Knight duo. Beastman, no. None of the duelists have knights in their name. Like the thing is, you can't really search this up because nothing will show up. I maybe shouldn't be going for this. Is balls a knight? He might be, dude. Harry and Knight Balls or something. I'm going to search that up when I have time. I'm going to search it up. I just, I need to have time to do it. Maybe I should open a tab on my second PC. That's what I should have done, actually. I should have gotten tabs on my second PC. I guess I could. I think Balls is a Knight. Which means, so we're at two. And then this would be three, and then Loretta, and then... I don't know. I think... Balls Carry at Night is his name. I'm just worried he's gonna mark that Crucible Knight Square. Because he, he could easily get a double, right? Like, maybe he's just leaving that as the last boss in, of the Knights. Probably what he's doing. I'm gonna level up as well in here. Cause I just have to bone out or something. You know, I, I don't know if I got that midway grace, but I definitely should have. Probably a mistake. Please don't rot me. We should deal a shit ton of damage here, man. This setup we've got. Can if there's a ref, can can anybody confirm or the refs confirm if this counts as one or two knight bosses, like boss bosses with knights in their name? I assume it's one. But I, I would need to confirm that if, if like, glances around or something. Because I don't know. With the wording of it, kill five bosses? I mean, I guess maybe it could be two, but... But I, I don't know. Okay, hopefully we can walk in here and blast the first guy. Like, hopefully he just can't do anything here. Yeah, 
Yeah, because they both have Knight in their name. So I'm going to... So that puts us at three. And then... Wait, who's the other one? Balls. Balls, balls, balls. So that's three. I think Balls has Knight. If not, I just bone out and then, and then we just... Or I quit out and we just go to Loretta and I guess Crucible, but I really hope he does, dude. I don't know. One boss? Okay. So we are at three then. He, he could easily be going for this as well. And just like saving the Crucible. That's what I think he's doing right now. This could be a good swing for him if he gets it. Hey, please have Knight carrying... I think it's Balls the carry Knight, dude. I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Zeger. Should die. Okay, that's four. Now just Loretta. It's good that I remember that, dude. I, I couldn't remember what his name was, but... Balls the Carrion Knight sounded correct. But man, this is such a similar game to last time, it feels like. The same weapon, we're killing a lot of the same bosses here. Okay, I gotta beat him. I, I think he's going for this, dude. I, I That's gotta be his, like, last-ditch attempt to try to save this game for him. Because how many squares do we even have? I haven't been counting. We have... What, 11? Do we have 11 fucking squares, dude? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Okay, we have 10. So we're three away from the win. Wow. <laughs> dude. I guess that, that's what happens. You just pedal to, to the metal here. And I feel like I've just got so much priority on stuff, dude. It's definitely been a much cleaner game than last time. I think the thing that I've messed up, though, I, I did have that one death going down to Altus, I guess, or Volcano Manor Drop. And, like, arguably, I should have picked up the five and six that are in Volcano, but... And just, like, suicide after that, so that I get taken back. Okay. I hope... I don't even remember 100% if Loretta has Knight in her name. So, do better. If she does, I just... We're looking so good. Because I've still got that sorcery kill that I can do. I'm pretty sure Loretta, like, Knight of the Halligtree or something. Or Royal Knight Loretta is what this one is. The other one's not Knight of the Halligtree. So. Gotta beat Ain to this. I'm feeling good about it, though. Because I think he probably had to, like, think about it. And I, I didn't waste any time going for this, going for these bosses. I, I knew exactly where to go. So. We've also got a good weapon. Royal Knight Loretta. I guess that actually is a cool middle square. I take it back. It, it was just like a little ambiguous, I guess. With like the Knight's Cavalry. Somebody could easily think it's like, oh, Knight's Cavalry. But that's a pretty good middle square. I like it more than the, the first game. It feels more significant. Okay. Let's beat him to this, hopefully. If not, okay. If, if I don't beat him to this, what do I do? What's the next fastest thing? I, I think I still leave Sorcery Kill. So we could do like O'Neal. If he beats me to this. Fuck's sakes, dude. Nice true combo. I guess I never got the strength tier. That wouldn't have been a bad thing to have, though. Royal Knight Loretta. Am I glad to see you? Attack. Bro, he got it. So, Gino, unfortunately, uh, there seems to have been a miscount on the number of night bosses you killed, so we are past that square to aim because 60 seconds have passed. Did I mark it? Or wait. You, you didn't mark it. It was the fact that you didn't mark it after you got your five. I think you forgot to count the Bloodhound Knight. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Sorry wow. about that. I, letting you know. Okay, thank you. Bro, I had it the whole time.
I totally forgot about the Bloodhound Knight, man. Oh, that's not where I meant to go. Okay. Oh, dude, the game was over. And I just I just totally forgot about the Bloodhound Knight. But wait, so did he like automatically get it or did he kill the five bosses? Like I would assume he must have killed the five bosses then. Because they wouldn't just give him the square. Wow, what a mistake, dude. I didn't know. Wow, this game would have been over for sure, too. Game would have been over. Oh, bro. Okay, well, let's just continue. Guess I'm just giving him a slight advantage here. That's crazy. Honestly, just can't believe that. <laughs> yeah, the game would like the game was over if I just marked it, dude. The game was like actually over. <laughs> oh, dude, because I would have just gotten the sorcery and that would have been it. Um, I wonder if I should go to Redan. No, I won't. Yeah, I just, I totally forgot about, uh, uh, the Bloodhound Knight, dude. And yeah, there's another Bloodhound Knight in Liurnia that would have been faster for me to go to as well. I just totally forgot. Yeah, that's, uh, that sucks, but we're still in good position at least, but I really just let him have life for no reason. <laughs> dude, it's crazy. It's actually insane. Gave him life. Cause yeah, cause I, 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 I'm at what? 10, wait, 10, 11. I'm at 11 right now. And that would have been the 12th. And I just do sorcery and I easily win. And there's nothing you can do. Like this game wouldn't have even been close. Fucking, okay. oh dude, the bloodhound knight. You know what? Surely that was on purpose to give him a chance, right? It'd be so funny now if I lost this game. You know what? Like, this is where somebody actually suggested that it should be the referees that mark squares down for you. And, uh... And, yeah, like, that would have been nice right there. Just because it's, like, a lot for the player to, to manage, but... Yeah, what a wasted opportunity. Like, the game was over, you guys. Like, there's nothing he could have done. Because he would have had to do Sorcery Redan to, in order to actually, like, come back. And that would have been... You know what? He's already killed a... I mean, I... This is tough now, because he's probably killed this assassin. Which means he probably has lightning ram. Okay, like, this is now a game for sure. This is 100% a game. And I also realized that he's an Altus, probably. So, he can't just do misbegotten Crucible duo. That's why he didn't do that, I guess. Wow. It's genuinely just insane. Oh, I completed the square. 
Like, I, that's how much faster I was to it. I, I completed the square, like, so long ago. And I didn't even go for, like, the most optimal bosses either, right? And and even then, like, I, I almost got him, right? Like, I almost beat him to it after killing six. You gonna let me fast travel? Uh, let's go from here. I need to equip the Ash of War, though. I don't have the Wet Blade. Oh, God, he's got an advantage on this square, 100%. Put on the Uchi. I mean, I, I'm still majorly in control. He's got no more bingos left. I have two bingos left. I'm majorly in control. And I think I only need two more squares. Uh, what am I doing? Uchi, Lightning Ram. Thanks, dude. Let's go up, pop here. Okay, so that's one. Like if he starts sniping them, we could be bad in a bad spot. He starts sniping some of these. And he and he could easily be going for this. We're at one. Also, I, t I guess I totally took the wrong path here. Okay, that's two. Three, four, five. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. How many squares are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, we need one more square. It should be over. I don't see what he can do. Maybe, maybe. I didn't get the crafting I'll for this, did I? Not ever. Oh, wait, did I actually? No, I didn't. It should be this over. I don't see what he can do here. <laughs> oh my god, dude. The game should have been over right there, but I'm just an absolute idiot. Yeah, this was. See, here's the thing. Like, I think he was tilted. Seriously? I guess it's not over yet. I guess he could somehow snipe this, but... Oh, for the love of God, let me fast travel. He could snipe this, but he's probably given up already. Even though... I can't believe I didn't mark that when I had five the whole time. Just insane. Sure yeah, we, we've already got Godric all set up. So I, I would say this was like nearly just a masterful game. Nearly. But let's see, I guess. Do I... I guess I don't hit 18, so... We could just use a different staff, I guess. That's probably better. Secluded cell. Let's just use a different staff. I, I don't need to use like the big boy staff here. Uh... Which one can I wield? Which one's better, I wonder? 112 versus 114. Yeah, it should be over. It should be over. And and he knows it. He knows it's over. Because, like, there's no chance that he can snipe this square for me. Unless he's doing... Unless he's doing Redan right now, but he knows that I've been saving this square. Like, he knows I've been saving the square. So. He should be well aware that it should be over. Oh. 
Drink Steve. Drink's more important. Hey, Steve. Yo, wait a second. Does the multi-hit... The multi-hit talisman works with Slicer? I had no idea. Oh my god, that's insane, dude. What a time to learn that as well. It's probably... He's probably, like, ranting right now about that. Insane Google. I am the Lord of all but, I mean, this game was uh, not quite <laughs> what I would call close. He's got no bingos available, right? All right, well, at least we finished early. It's 13. Yeah, that was uh, not his best showing. And I, I should have won that game like literally 10 minutes ago, dude. <laughs> I should have won it 10 minutes ago. I can't believe I forgot about... <sighs> so when I killed balls is when I got the square. And then the game was just over. Yeah, that, that game was... Like, he he was he must have been tilted, dude. 100%. But now, what I'm... You know, the Stormhawk Axe is now not a secret, I guess. So, we'll see what happens. But not every board sets up for it. So, for the final, we'll see. Yeah, he he's... Yeah, I, I, I imagined he would be tilted. 100%. Like, if he didn't like the, the first game on, like, a, a thing like that, I'm... I, like, that's what I was saying. Like, I, I, I was pretty certain that it was going to affect him. He wasn't going for five knights? Oh, so he didn't even kill five knights? Seriously? So why does he get the square then? Because that's not what the rules... Okay, that is not what the rule says, I'm pretty sure, you guys. Welcome in, Gino. GG's, man. Congratulations! Thank you. Thank How you. are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, I, I feel like kind of an idiot for forgetting about... <laughs> the, uh, who did I forget about? Bloodhound Knight? And the game would have been yeah. over quite a bit faster, but... But at that point, I guess it didn't really matter, so I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, we're, we're kind of hoping that you would remember at some point. Yeah. Like, you know, Bloodhound Knight, Bloodhound <laughs> Knight. Does he, does he remember Bloodhound Knight? And, and uh, we saw you go for Loretta, we're like, ah, damn, I guess he doesn't. Um, but, yeah, it happens. It's Like we said, it's, you know, it's a new square, so it's it's something that's going to be thrown at players in, in that regard. Um, yeah. But uh, how'd you feel about the board in general, though? And also, dude, Stormhawk acts uh, twice now. We haven't seen that weapon before. But yeah. Seeing the damage output is insane. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's like it, it's just an option, right? It's it's maybe not definitively the best weapon for Bingo, but it's definitely decent. So, mm -hmm. yeah, like it, just these boards kind of set up where I could actually use it. So, I'm like, yeah, might as well try to use something a bit different. Yeah. No, hundred percent. And I mean. If you look at all the fights that you've done, though, I, like it, it seems way more beneficial than, than some of the other weapons because there are a lot of bosses that actually are yeah. in water. You know, like Renala, you had Virgin of yep, Doctors. that's true. Uh, you know, Royal Knight with Loretta. Like, those are all in water. Also, even, like, the Rot Swamp Water for Clean Rot Knight, for example. Like, all of that makes it, like, actually a very, very decent choice, for sure. Uh, yeah. Which is really nice. Yeah, it's cool. It's, it's um, cool that there there are, like, a few different options other than just, like, Uchi or, you know, Bloodhound Fang or yeah, uh, Golden Halberd. So, so, yeah. Yeah. No, 100%. Um, how do you feel about the middle squares, by the way, so far, at both of them, from the Prowling Pate to, to this one now? And also, I don't know if you saw the ones last week, but uh, yeah, I, I was kind of curious. I, I like them overall. I, I think it's... Uh, I don't know. I, I think it's cool that there's not, like, any certainty of, of the middle square and... I, mm. I, I guess on this one in particular, I was I was like, I don't know. I, I think it was it was really good. Like this this one I liked more than the last one, just because yeah. the last one was like sort of one that you could just go for right away. But I I like this one where it's kind of just something that you're not really going to go for unless you have at least a weapon set up. So it's sort of like a mid mid game or at least a late game 
or uh, you know, it, it, it's you're not going to be able to do this right at the start. So I, I definitely like this one for sure. But yeah, I've, I've liked them overall. I'd say. Yeah. No, I got you. Uh, yeah, I think overall it's also like a nice little twist for the top four as well. It's just having you know something kind of fresh thrown at the players, uh, trying to check their their knowledge for bosses, but also just overall from the game itself. Um, so yeah, I, I'm glad that it seems like most of the players are, are enjoying the the middle squares. Um, yeah, man. So moving on to the finals, uh, how, how do you feel about uh, facing it off against Chris again? By the way. Uh, yeah, I mean it's gonna be tough. Like I'm, I. I, I guess I go into basically every match thinking that I'm the underdog, but this one probably even more so. Like I definitely gotta not make any mistakes and and uh, you know just try to keep going with the strategies that I think is right. I, I think I I actually preferred no chat, even though I guess chat would have reminded me that I killed five night boss there. But other than <laughs> that, like it just you don't second guess as much, and it's kind of just I don't know. I kind of like it better, I think. So uh, gotcha. I don't know. I, I I guess we'll see. But yeah, no, it's it's pretty yeah. cool that it made it to the finals already. Um, like I definitely did not expect that. So that, yeah, that's pretty cool. Going against some of these other other players who are really good. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, a hundred percent. And uh, I mean, like t to be fair, you ha you have been like uh, workshopping a lot of new strategies that I think a lot of the other bingo players haven't really come across yet. I think that definitely gave you uh, a really nice edge too in the, in the competition in general. Just having uh, some things in your back pocket that you're able to pull out for for uh, some of these matches, which is really nice to see too. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and also I'll bring in Ain here real quick as well. Yep. All right. Uh, welcome in Ain. Yo, what's up? Yo. Uh, GG's to you too, man. Uh, dude, how how uh, how'd you feel about this board? Um. Yeah. No. It was uh the the yeah. It was good. I mean. Yeah. It was, the same was good. It was it was good. Did you um did you uh, try it at some uh, not try sorry uh, did you uh at some point consider the night bosses uh or not night boss yeah actually yeah the night bosses sorry the night bosses at all um because I know that was a, that was a bit of a, a, t a tough knowledge check uh, we even uh, quiz chat knew the to see night if bosses could... uh, huh? I just I, I knew I just uh uh <laughs> dude what do you want me to say bro I was tilted out of my fucking asshole. <laughs> like, uh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to get some closing words. That's all. You know, with with this being yeah, uh, your, listen, your match it was into, it into was thir thir you know. it, yeah, yeah. It was like the the center square was like better for sure. I think because um, I think most people when they play. Oh, by the way, G uh, Gino, if you're still here, congrats, dude. GGs. Uh, thank you. Yeah, GGs. Yeah. Um, I think um, I think like the square is like a lot better because most people's experience with Elden Ring is probably. Like, it probably involves, like, boss fights and stuff, right? As opposed to, like, random item collection. So it's actually something that, like, I guess most competitors would probably have knowledge of, you know, if you just, like, think about it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. As opposed to, like, I guess, like, the the previous one or whatever. But, um, yeah, no, uh, I... Uh, <laughs> I thought it was, uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a good event. I uh, uh, tried my best. I hope people enjoyed my games. And, uh, uh, um, how'd you feel? Yeah. Um, sh I just had a question. I forgot. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to ask the thing is yeah. like, oh, I'm going to say is, um, it was definitely a lot closer than you might think. Uh, Gino, sni I mean, you know, I mean, you saw it sometimes on market maybe, uh, but he sniped you like at least I would say four times or something. So it was so close, uh, many, many, many times. I knew. I just, that's why I'm saying. Like, I just I played like even the market square. Like my my initial like line uh, to market was really awful because I was just like so like thinking about other stuff. Um, while I th I feel like if I'm like a lot more focused, like for example, you can you can skip that entire church of Ella Grace, right, and like go for the um, yeah the uh, the gate from Grace to get the uh, to get torn. Mm -hmm. So I actually like went all the way to the church or or halfway to the church before I turned around. Um, and, like, that's something I did in my game against Aggie last time, where I just went to the um, the Grace immediately. So, I don't know. I guess I was just, like, distracted or something. And, I don't know. I spent, like, what, fucking 10 minutes on <laughs> Mander O'Neill and shit. Yeah, so. okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the branches, unfortunately, yeah. The it, jumps uh, didn't work out. I mean, you like, on the market thing, you guys were literally on 100% sync sitting down on that Grace. And literally yeah. almost perfectly sync going into that boss fight. I kind of, oh, it kind of, yeah, I guess, I guess maybe, I don't know, like, because I did, my, my strat, I guess Marget jumped for me twice, 
which might mm -hmm. have stalled a little bit of time. I don't know. I'll have to see. I mean, yeah. there's a little bit of RNG for that fight anyway. Um, for sure, for sure. You're still yeah. uh, you're still facing Aggie uh, for third place tomorrow. Um, is there? Uh, are you looking forward to that match? I guess. Uh, is there anything specific that you might try to use from? Like, for example, like, Gino used Stormhawk Axe today. I don't know. Is that a weapon that you might try and use tomorrow as well, for example? Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. It depends on the game, I guess. Yeah, you can. I mean, Stormhawk Axe was, is, yeah, when, when, I, when I got that in the Feli Square, it's really good to go dude, for it. Dude, but... secure that fourth place, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, total. I can't, like, I can't you escape can't from, away it. from it, man. <laughs> It's destiny, bro. Every time. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'll just, I'll just try to have fun against Aggie. I've Definitely. uh taken the whole event like pretty seriously, and I like tried to do my best at it. But mm -hmm. you know, I'll, I'll just have fun tomorrow. Uh, not much to play for. I mean, like third place, yeah. But I'll just, I'll just try to have fun with Aggie, I guess. Sure. I mean, yeah. I would say you played absolutely amazing, especially also in the first match. Uh, we, we we couldn't have that talk, but um, your two blocks on the on those both bingo lines were so cool. That was such a cool comeback, dude. I not nothing against you, Gino, okay? Because there was so many people in chat like saying should like oh Gino win, right? And I was like molding here, like shut the fuck up. Ain's literally coming back right now, and then you blocked these two lines and it was such an interesting match like it was very very nice play wait, 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 wait the first match or the second match the first match when well, he blocked that, that, wait a minute, that's what i said that, that was my that was my shtick no so i wanted to say that again i thought i thought it's <laughs> also cool okay i, I wanted oh, to say I, 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 that, that, was, that was my like, analogy oh, i was like dude it's not over yet and everyone was like saying no and i was like oh wait hold on a second and then yeah it was happening like, whatever whatever all right all right, GG's. Uh, yeah, GG's to both players. GG's. Uh, Gino moving on to the finals uh, tomorrow. Ag Aggie versus Ain. Um, yeah, and thanks so much for playing today, guys. And I'll see a uh, Ain tomorrow and uh, Gino next week. Yep, sounds good. See you guys. Oh. All right, have a good one, guys. Holy dude, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so. Okay, I first I guess they they did change that rule with like hiding squares. Obviously, I wasn't hiding it. I just didn't know. <laughs> like it's kind of I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that because what I thought was that I thought you the opponent had to be actively going for that square. That's what I thought. I don't think there's anything on the site that actually says says that but anyways yeah i gotta go you guys uh thanks for hanging out i'm kind of happy that this what didn't end up being like six hours